previously on Eugene's A Traveling Drummer's Diary. This is the second part of my EU Summer Festival tour in 2017 with Bailo Remains. Where do we go? Depends on how long this episode will be. We start with the day off somewhere in Hamburg, which meant we could use that time to do laundry and have some rest after an intense single first show. Overall it was boredom, but sometimes the tour schedule is not the best. So you should not take days off for granted, but try to use them to their full potential, like washing your underwear in the sink, trying to eat healthier, exercising in the hotel, stealing apples from the reception, and much, much more. After the well-deserved two days off, we headed to the seashore to board the ferry to Denmark. A couple of things you have to know if you never went on board of a ferry. You would usually leave your van, bus, car in the lower deck in the parking lot. You can either choose to stay there for the whole trip or leave your vehicle and go up to the deck to enjoy the beautiful view and insanely overpriced food. Tip number 44. Make sure you memorize the exact location of your vehicle on the ferry. You don't want to be left behind by the time you have to disembark. is a good place to clear your head and get some fresh air. It is not too big, but big enough to just waste your time walking around and exploring. If you got a day off, then the ferry can offer some entertainment for you. It got a nice food court where you can totally empty your wallet in one go, some coffee and souvenir shops and even a supermarket. If you don't feel like spending money, you can rather feed those in need for free. But don't expect those sons of bitches to be grateful, they're also pretty greedy and aggressive. Паскуда! <laughs> Copenhagen is truly a magical place. I've been lucky enough to spend here a week a few years back just visiting. This time, unfortunately, we had a show to play, so it was a quick in and out trip. No plundering whatsoever. We played a nice small venue called Beta, with roughly 100 people attending. For a fill-in gig between festivals during the week, not that bad. Сейчас я вам покажу, как трапити воду. Як дати п'ють воду. Ти нам фриш фораж, бі. Ось така. That's cute. Е, душ вообще мовчу. Такий не порога на ніч. Хтось тут на туалеті сара, і тут його сразу затопили. Я розумію, що Данія типу дофіга така страна, яка знаходиться на рівні моря. Якщо їх затопило, то у них нормально. Юй, от як у моди на шкалі. Had a day off after Copenhagen, so it was a good opportunity to do some minor sink laundry. Have been able to grab some supplies from the venue for the next day. Podatsky. Tip number 45. There's no shame in looting the venue backstage. The beverages were meant to be used by the bands after all. The more you take, the less you'll have to buy the next day. Loot. Always loot. A lot. Another boat trip and we're back on the continent. Tip number 46. Drinking hot chocolate on the deck of the ferry with strong wind is not the best idea. 
We had another day off, of course, due to a very well planned tour schedule. Next day after breakfast, it was time to hit the road. Off to Summer Breeze Festival. Interestingly enough, we got stuck in traffic at the entrance of the festival due to the massive inflow of attendants since it was the warm-up day. So as you can see, it's sometimes tough to get into the festival even if you're a performer. And it's even worse because no one wants to hear this as an excuse in case you're late even if it's not your fault. Big festivals like these have very strict time schedules and limits. A few minutes delay might cause huge problems. Какие у вас адрес? Summer Breeze. Доставка на дом. I spent most of my time here in the artist area, which was pretty dope. Короче, крута велика палатка. И тут, наверное, люди набивают себе пески и желудки. Ха-ха! Metal Wines. A pretty interesting thing this festival has is the catering system. So you basically get a coupon for an all-you-can-eat free meal as an artist, but you gotta eat all of that in a one-hour window and cannot ask for more after that time expires. In other words, Summer Breeze does everything for you to support an OMAD, one meal a day fasting protocol. A diet plan you might follow or not. Thank you very much. As awesome as the food was, the fridges were a disappointment to say the least. Water and carton packs. You know what this is? Yep, water. This is water. Yep. Germans are weird. I'm talking to myself. It's Ukrainian, you won't even understand it. Spicy. That's the slow of the module. My mission is in the Kinjala. Hello? I still have time. Do I have time? Hello. Oh, you don't know. Ha! Italia. No. It's okay, I'm in the module. Tistachka. Hush. Hush, but it kill me. Alright fellas, it's time to rate this festival just like last time. We had plenty of time for changeover and line check, yet the crew was never there when we needed them. During the show they were walking around were not useful at all. This caused immense discomfort. 1 out of 3. Absolutely lovely artist village, backstage containers, atmosphere. Infrastructure, 3 out of 3. A vast variety of different meals and beverages, including that infamous Oma challenge. Even with that weird water in carton packs, catering 3 out of 3, one of the best I tried. Overall comfort, 4 out of 5. Casual ham and cheese bagel for breakfast before heading out to the next gig in Hamburg. Why Hamburg, you ask, when we just came back from that area yesterday? Beats me. The Hamburg gig was yet another between festivals fill-in show in a very small venue underground. Regular catering in the form of gummy worms, nothing exotic. All I remember is that it was raining the whole day. The attendance was decent and the gig was very good. Had a romantic single-player candlelit dinner, followed by some cookies with milk later. Super hot on stage, almost passed out, but great energy from the crowd. <sighs> Next day, the usual morning muesli rituals followed by a unique surviving tip from me. We all stayed in one room with a bunch of unoccupied bunk beds. 
It was some cheap hostel which didn't provide us with soap or even towels. Don't let this stop you from taking a shower. Tip number 47. Extra bed sheets might be used as a towel in a hostel in case you don't have one. Stay dry. The Netherlands is one of my favorite places in Europe. I absolutely adore the architecture. The gigs here are always good and the hospitality is top notch. Most of the venues here are amazing, but not in our case today. We played a small pub, The Little Devil. It was the smallest stage on this tour for sure. And surprisingly enough, my best Vital Remains performance. We again shared the accommodations like a big lovely family. Eight-year-old me couldn't have been more excited. It's time to slowly wrap up this episode. Next time we're gonna hit Belgium for Metal Mean Festival. Till then, stay tuned and take care. In the meantime, I gotta jump out of the window and dry my stage clothes. Eugene, out. Psst. Are you still here? Make sure you check out these as well.